Today, we're going to do a full body workout. And the only thing, the absolutely only thing you need is a pair of dumbbells, and you're going to need a chair. Chair and a pair of dumbbells so we can do a full body training. Welcome, welcome. Come over here and say hi. You ready to go? Let me go explain to you exactly what we're gonna do, okay? We're going to do a full body where I'm gonna use the timer and we're gonna go 30, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And we're going to do a full body workout. We're gonna go for three rounds and then we're going to do a core burnout. I want you grab water, I want you to grab a pair of dumbbells and the chair. That's the only thing you need. Okay? I am North, I am from Boston, but I came to Florida because I kind of want to run for the weather and come over here and do this live with you guys. Are you ready? Hello, Jesse. Let's do this, okay? So normally what I would tell you to do is make sure you foam roll. Extremely, extremely important. Use a foam roller. I'm not going to do it because I didn't tell you we had a foam roller to do it. Just want to make sure you can hear me well, okay? Because my mic somehow did not work. If you give me a thumbs up, then you can hear me well. That's awesome. Now, first exercise we're going to do, we're going to do a warm-up for five minutes only. Warm-up. You ready? Yes. Let's go, let's go. So I'm going to stop my timer. Perfect. And any comment, any question that you have, just let me know. We're going to start by doing an inchworm. Open your chest. I want you to walk on your hands. Come over here. Push the ground away from you. If you want to do a push-up, go for it. And come back. We're going to do this six times. Yes, I want some heart there. Please. Push here. And walk back. Okay? We're going to do this five times. Can you do me a favor? Make sure you can hear me well. Whew. Go back here. Back. If you want to do a push-up, you can always do a push-up. And you're going to walk back. Now, second thing I want to do is just a reverse lunge just for warm-up. A body weight. And alternating just so we can get ready to do the circuit. Okay? Two circuits today. Can you hear me well? Give me a thumbs up. I want to know where you're from. Put in the chat where you're from. Not if you're Chinese, though. But if you're not, the life's going to be safe so you can do this in another time. Yeah, appreciate the hearts. Let's go. The only thing I want you to do now, check this out. I want you to focus on your squat. So, Screw the foot on the ground. Check this out. Screw the foot on the ground. Hi, Adro. Screw the foot on the ground. We're going to do just 10. This is just a warm up to get you ready. I'm not used to the heat. So if you see me on the ground, <laughs> taking extra breaths, it's okay. I just need some extra rest. Heart rate's up. You ready to go? going to start again we're going to go for four different three different circuits okay three supersets and from there my right here and from there we're going to go a core burnout get a pair of dumbbells ah love the hearts needs to be challenged it needs to challenge you let me try to plug my mic to see did that work? The audio got better? Done. That's it, that's it. Ready to go? I'm at it. Ready to go? Okay, let's go. First exercise we're going to do a circuit. Not that one. Training. Okay, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. First exercise we're going to do. <laughs> Hi, Nicole, let's go. First exercise we're gonna do, we're going to do a goblet squat, and we're gonna pair with a chest press. Now, I don't know if you know me, but I get a little excited and obsessed 
about about the mechanics that you're gonna use in the exercise. So really pay attention what I'm gonna say, okay? Really pay attention what I'm gonna say. Get a weight that challenge you. I'm gonna start the timer for the goblet squats. Put the weight right here on your chest. Stir the foot on the ground just to show you. And you're going to go down, exhale, up. Make sure the weight that you're getting, it challenges you, okay? Make sure you exhale on the top. And when you exhale, tight your belly. Keep going. And screw the foot on the ground. Ease out what that means. They push their foot outward without moving. Good. Two, one. Now, you're gonna go, you're gonna get a weight that challenges you. You're gonna go for a chest press. Boom. Straight for a chest press. You're gonna lay down the floor. You're gonna push the ribs down like this. Okay, push the ribs down. Exhale when you push the weights up. Time is going strong. You only have 30 seconds. Once you exhale, I want you to notice how important those little details are. Super, super important. Keep going. If you feel your arms burning, Guess what? Do it again. Wait for the timer. Three, two, one. Now, you have 20 seconds rest. From there, you're gonna go back to goblet squats. Get some water, because Florida is killing me. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So what are we doing today? I want you to start be aware of your body. Stay in your body. Pay attention to your movement. Close your elbows. Turn the knees. Exhale hard by getting your core really strong when you go up. Okay? I want you to pay attention on your movements. I want you to pay attention on your mechanics. So this way you can start seeing faster results. You're going to start training smarter. So you don't have to do so many reps. You can do precise movements. Because if we do this, you're going to start seeing much, much, much better results. Okay? Because you're going to start connecting your mind to your muscles and making your muscles work harder. Without cheating. You have five seconds. Lay down. This is no floor. This is no Boston weather. Okay, let's go. Look, when I push up, I exhale down. In my ridge, go down. Inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth. Nose, mouth, into your nose, out your mouth. What's the name of that trainer? My name is Adora Gamma, guys. I've been doing this for over 15 years. My job is to teach women to look lean and feel strong. And that's why we lift heavy. And I absolutely, absolutely love what Coach Jen does. Same thing, she teaches you guys how to train in a smart way, teach you guys how to lift heavy. That's why we're building such a beautiful community here. You ready? Up, up, last round. Again, close your elbows. We'll come over here. Aha, I hate, I see hearts, I want more hearts. Because I'm wearing pants in a Florida weather. So I deserve some hearts. Right? Yeah, look at that. I want to turn my side just so you can see something. Okay? When I go down, keep going, but look my back. It's completely straight. When I go up, I don't come all the way up. I stay here because this tension here. Keep the tension the entire time. So this way you have to do half of the work for better results. Who doesn't want that? Half the work 
for better results. That's how we do it. And I swear, I deserve some bunch of hearts and I deserve to jump on that pool when I'm done. Three, two, one. Almost done, last one. Big exhale. Slow it down. Do you see the way I control the dumbbell down? I am in control of the movement. The dumbbell, it's not pushing me. And I squeeze my core. And if you have any questions, I can leave some time at the end so we can do a QA. and a Hey, see? We start burning and keep going until you no longer can move. Ooh, it was perfect time. Okay, I'm gonna give you a longer break because you're gonna go to the next exercise. We're gonna do Romania that lift with shoulder press. But I wanted to choose something. I'm putting 40 seconds on the timer. And when I use 40 seconds on the timer, the first thing I want to tell you is, by the end of the 40 seconds, it needs to be hard. It really needs to be hard, okay? So 40 seconds, hard, and then you rest at 20. By the time you finish, if you cannot even go to 40 seconds, you stop on 38, that is even better. But if you can get a weight and you go all the way to 50, 47 seconds, that means that weight's too light. So to find the perfect weight, if your coach tells you, hey, go to 20 seconds, go to 30 seconds, you have to get muscle failure by the time you get to the end of that set that he gave you, okay? Now, Romania that lift with shoulder press, but we do shoulder press in a different way. Let me show you this. With the RDL, I got eight seconds there. The game here, is to push your butt away from you. So why don't you look this? See that black line, black line behind me? Check this out. My butt needs to pass that line. See? The goal here, it's not lower your hands, it's push the butt. Because if I just lower my hands, I'm training on my back, okay? But I'm pushing my butt back. Look, my hands is consequence of my butt. Pushing away from me back strong <sighs> exhale on the way up you got seven seconds get it butt away but 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 away and hands are consequence i need to lower this now uh here okay now we're gonna go half a knee Shoulder press. I want you in a half another position. Tuck your butt in, ribs down, and I want you to out your and press like this. What do I do? I exhale on the way up. If you have any question for me, make sure you put on the question box. Okay? Isa, why are you doing half a kneeling instead of just standing? When I take my legs out of the equation, it's easier to focus on my upper body. Got it? Isa, why are you doing alternating? This is so heavy. Because, hold on. Because it's not everybody that can put both arms up without compensating their backs. So alternating will help you maintain your core as long as you push your ribs down. Oh, Florida weather. You ready? Go back here. Start over. We're going to go back to remaining that lift. Up. Remember, focus on the mechanics. Push the butt back. Look, my butt's passing that black light line behind me. Way past. If I just focus on my arms, my butt will move. But what I want is push the back away. Push your butt as far as you can. Good. We're almost done. At the end, we can do some q and I see a comment, but I'm going to tell a secret about me. 
I don't have my glasses. There's no way I can read that. <laughs> Just wait a little bit and I'll read it. Are you ready? Look, tuck your hip in. Imagine you're getting your bell buckle to your chest. Bell buckle to your chest. <laughs> Push the ribs down. Get at here. Elbows in 45 degrees, never on the T, never, never on the T. And push here. And we alternate. Good. Get some water, tie that core. Keep that bell bucket towards your chest, your chest towards your bell buckle. And keep that core nice and tight and use the big exhale, okay? Okay. I deserve some hearts for training in pants in Florida weather. Whew. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Last one. Let me get. Hello. Let me find that question. Whoa, cool. I know. I know. I'm in Florida. I'm so excited. Listen, so excited. Running away from Boston. Whew. Breathe. Okay, next exercise that we're gonna do. We're gonna do, remember that I told you you're gonna need a chair? That's the absolute time to get your chair. So, I'll grab this chair here. And we're gonna go single leg hip lift. Make sure you can see me. Yeah, you can see me. So we're gonna go single leg hip lift. This is amazing if you don't have a big bar, if you don't have big weights at home to do a hip thrust, you can absolutely do this one. But listen to the cues that I'm gonna give you. They're super, super, super important, okay? We're almost done. You can use weight or no weight, but I promise the stuff that I'm gonna teach you right now, you don't need a lot of weight, okay? So you're gonna find a chair that you can put your scapula right here, the back of your back on. Don't use your arm. So I like this one because it won't let me cheat at all. I want you. I want you put your heels on the ground. Toes get off the ground. Make sure you can see that. Remember that I said bow buckle to your chest, chest your bow buckle, tuck, go down and up. This is the exercise. But since you're doing body weight or you like weight, don't you put your one leg up and do this. Isa, this is way too hard for me. What can I do? Put both legs down and do the same thing. Okay? We're going to go start the timer. Put my timer up. Okay. Now go. Can I make this harder? Yes. Go half up, a full one up. Half up, a full one up. <laughs> this will be perfect. If is this too hard, both legs up. Both legs down. And you keep doing this. If you want to grab a weight, as long as your chair is safe, okay, put your chair against the wall. Mine's not, that's why my hands is here. <laughs> to make sure it won't fall on my butt. If this is too heavy, both legs down. But the game here, skip that tuck the entire time. So that's why I'm looking forward. Looking forward so my ribs stay down the whole time. From here, easy, easy. You're gonna stand up. You're gonna do a bend over roll. Remember what I said about the butt? Push the butt back, roll your shoulders back, and roll. Make sure you got away that challenge you. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see something. My back's not rounded. My butt's not sticking out. Keep the tuck the whole time. If you have any questions, put it in the box. And as soon as you're finished, we're almost done. Have two more rounds of this and one core exercise. And that's it. And I say you got seven seconds. Really squeeze the back. Look, my scapula is going forward, my scapula is going back. I'm squeezing my back. Okay? Squeeze my back, keep my elbows closed. 
I'm squeezing my back. It's almost you're holding a pencil. Middle of your back. Oh, weather. <laughs> Beautiful. Ready, ready? Now, just breathe and go again. Go your hip lift. Okay? Again, if it's two legs, too easy. Hold the chair if you have to. Go one leg. If one leg's too easy, go half. Up, all the way down, up. When I say all the way down, it's not the floor, guys. The game here is when you go up, you need a straight line from your knees to your shoulder. Notice how my ribs are down the whole time. And my hip, it's tuck, really, really tuck. Gonna go bent over. And remember, it's all about pushing that butt back. We're almost done. So tuck in. Push the butt back, two, one, go. Squeeze the back. Slide your elbows around your body. And exhale. And keep that tuck. I'm gonna put my weight down just to show you something. Without falling. In, ribs down, the whole time. This is lock, my core is lock. And when people tell you to activate your core, that's what that means, okay? Activate your core means go in a tuck, push the ribs back, big exhale, really big exhale. I tell my girls when they go to the gym or they do at home, if people are looking at you because you're, you're doing really big exhale, feel good because you're the one that knows how to breathe through the exercise. There you go. Got some water. Heart rates through the roof because of the heat. We can do that. Now, last exercise. I got five minutes with you guys, which is perfect. We're gonna do a dead bug. Oh, easy, that bug is so easy. Yeah, right? Now, I promise you, if you do the dead bug the way I'm gonna teach you right now, it's gonna be one of the hardest exercises ever. The game here, again, is do that tuck. Do you see what I mean by tuck? I get my ribs, my, my ribs, I get my hip and stack under my ribs. Look, now I have a straight line. Do you see that? Now I push my ribs down and I lock this. This is locked. So when you do a dead bug, that's what you're gonna do, okay? So check this out and pay attention to the detail. Pay attention to the detail. You're gonna go down, okay? And when you extend your leg, my rogue, my rogue there. When you extend the leg, time out. When you extend the leg, you have to keep the tuck in and ribs down. And you do what you a big exhale breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale. You're gonna exhale the entire time while you lower the leg. And you can tap the leg on the floor, tap, go back. But look, my leg doesn't just drop. I have control of everything. I have control of my movement. I have control. Get your chin out and push back. Make sure you have a beautiful straight line on your spine. And that's it. Keep the ribs tucked in. I want you to try this. Even if you're just watching, not training. I want you to try this. Because when people tell me bed bugs are easy, Nah, 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 nah. They are not doing this right. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, move your opposite, opposite hand, opposite arms, opposite legs. But I want you to focus on the mechanics. Why is it? Why do I have to focus on the mechanics? So you can see faster results because you're gonna target the exact muscles that you want to do. That's what I teach my girls how to train smarter. It's training a way that you target the exact muscle. Be aware of your body. Be aware of your movements. Use this time to take care of yourself. This is a workout as well, okay? So how do we start? Ribs down, push this in, toes toward me, and go. Keep this the whole time. Lock, keep the tuck the entire time. I want you to try, and I want you to go 
as soon as we finish on the comments and tell me if you felt the difference big exhale the exhale goes the same time your leg goes look my core is on fire and i'm not even putting my arms in the game just the core focus on the core push that ribs down push your chin back so you have a beautiful straight line so this way when you focus on mechanics you're going to see faster results and that's what we want we want train smarter so we see results for the efforts that we put in. Does that make sense? Okay, let's go again. The last one and we're done. Inhale. Exhale. This was a full body, high intensity functional training. Good. Keep the ribs down. You need to feel your core burning. If you're not feeling your core burning, make sure you don't have a space in between your lower back and the floor. Because if you do, that would happen. Focus and pulling that ribs down, push the chin down. I want you to try this and I want you to let me know. Look, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, not 30, but a little bit more, of belly breath so we can calm our heart rates down. We can bring our parasympathetic nervous system up because right now we're like fight flight mode. So if you have a chair to put your leg up, that would be even better. If not, just lay down and hit through your nose. Belly goes up. Exhale through your mouth. You're going to do 10 of those. Inhale. Make sure you're doing belly breaths by the end of the workout. That's gonna help even you recover. You go faster. Big belly. You can even put something on your belly so you can see a physical cue. So your belly, up, belly going up when you inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. Look at me, I'm right on time. Look. That was a full body, high intensity functional training, meaning we use functional movements. Ooh, I got this. <laughs> but I got up too fast. We use functional movements and with the weight, with the heavy weights to do strength. Now I want you to ask you something. I want you to try, even if you just got here, the life's gonna be safe. Try this workout. Try, pay attention to the cues that I said about screwing the foot to do the, look, look my knees, what happened? screwing the foot when you do the squat when you do the romanian leg lift don't think about lowering your hands think about pushing your butt away from you pushing the butt away from you when you think about that buzz think about holding that tuck ribs down and holding that tuck the entire time and focus on the x day when you do little things like that when you start paying attention i promise you you're gonna start seeing faster results and that's what we want we want to see results for the efforts that we do right Look, it was an absolute pleasure. My name is Hilda Gama. I am also an online trainer, okay? I created a program called The Leaner, Stronger, Smarter. And are you ready? And I've been doing this for 15 years. So that's my game. My game here is how can I explain exercise to you the way that you're going to get in a split of a second? How do you explain exercise to you so you can start seeing faster results? Look, I love being here. We're doing this pretty much once a month. Absolute love here. I'm going to put my Instagram here. And tell me, as soon as you try the cues for the exercise, let me know. Tag me on this post. Go on my page and say, Zadora, I try it and I feel the difference. Because that's my goal for you. Let's make sure you are always seeing faster results. Okay? I'm going to check the Q&A to see if there's any questions and I can questions in the comments. And I think I deserve it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I want some hearts because I had pants on for the weather. And I deserve that. It was absolutely joy. If you have any questions, let me know here or just tag me in a post. And I would love, love, love to help you out. And even if you're like, Isa, I can't do the exercise that you told me. Like, I don't get it. Let me know. Just let me know. And we can... 
hop on a quick video, send me a video, I will analyze, I do that for my clients. We call it the movement analysis. And analyze your movement, then I'll send it back to you. Okay? Look, have an absolutely good, good holiday. I appreciate that. <laughs> I have an amazing holiday. Spend time with your family. Christmas Day and Christmas Eve, it's not time to lose weight. Ew. It's time to maintain your weight, it's time to enjoy and spend quality time. And then 26, you go back. Deal? Thank you so much, you guys. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. I appreciate it. Bye. Wait. Love you, fans.